So in this example, you can see that on both the T2-weighted images as well as the T1 post-gadolinium and MRCP images, there are multiple T2-bright, T1 hypo-intense cysts scattered throughout this pancreas. In fact, it's hard to see normal pancreatic parenchyma. There are innumerable cysts replacing much of the pancreas. Now, for the most part, you can see on both the T2-weighted and the post-gadolinium images that these cysts are relatively simple. There's no mural nodularity, there's no soft tissue component, I don't see any real septations or other complexity. Now in this example, when you see innumerable cysts arising from the pancreas, although you can rarely see this in patients with von Hippel-Lindau, for the most part you're dealing with multifocal IPMN. Now you have to be very careful in these cases. Multifocal IPMN certainly have a high risk of malignancy, or at the very least, high-grade dysplasia. And that's because every one of these cysts is at individual risk for undergoing malignant transformation. So in patients with multifocal IPMN, I think often MR can be very helpful. It gives you great soft tissue discrimination and gives you probably a better chance than CT in terms of identifying subtle neural nodularity and subtle complexity. I recommend that these patients with multifocal IPMN be followed much more carefully than patients with just a single cyst, and you need to always be on the lookout for any change in their morphology or the development for a solid enhancing component.